Hello everybody, it's um, DJShoop13 and I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make a Gmod server. It's really easy, just follow all the steps and it should work for you. So, first thing you want to do is go down to your Steam and just go into your store, okay? It doesn't matter at all where you go, just go in your store. After you go into Windows HLBS tool. Now if you have Linux, I really don't know how to use that, so screw Linux. So anyway, you just click that. I mean, I already have it, so I'm just going to download it again for the tutorial's sake. Click it. Yes. Now you just click next. Agree. Now this, it really does not matter where you put it, as long as, long as it's in C, okay? It just has to be in C, and that's all you have to worry about. So just leave the name there, it's fine. Then you just click next. Oh, I already have it, so screw it. And then, so what you want to do is, you go into your start menu, oh whoops, sorry about that, start menu, computer, you go in, I already see, it's already right there, but, so yeah, it's already right here, and you click this, then you do send, send to the desktop, create shortcut, you just click that and it's going to show a little icon right here. You basically right click it, properties, and there I put a command in the video. Um, if you want to do TF2, instead of writing Gary's mod, you write TF2 here, but if you want to do Gary's mod, you type in Gary's mod. It's that simple. So, yeah, I put in the already in the description of the video the code. And you do, and you do OK. And what it basically does is this. I'm I, I'm doing it at the same time as you guys actually. So it's just gonna load for a while. It should take a, about maybe 45 minutes to an hour, depending on your internet connection. Um, it usually takes me like 30 minutes if I'm lucky. But anyway, so I'll see you guys when it's done loading. All right. So um. Hello again, I'm back. <laughs> it was a bit of a long download, but I'm done. So what you have to do now is you right click SRCDS. It's going to be a folder made after your download is finished. And what you do is you do the exact same thing that you did with the other thing. You basically send it to your desktop, create shortcut. All right, this is what we're going to use to run our server. And what you're going to do is you're going to do properties. And I've also put a, another command in the description. And what you put is game, um, quote mark game, and then Gary's mod. Like here. And you paste. Or you can just type it. I'm just going to type it. Game, Gary's mod. And then what you do is you just do OK, you click it, and right here you have all your crap. You can name it anything you want, just for kicks it, you name it, um, just for fun. <laughs> and oh right, to, oh, I forgot about the most important part. So what you have to do to make the server work, you copy this code right here, copy it, alright? Then we have to go in CMD, then write ipconfig, and whatever you see under your default gateway, whatever you see right here, you're going to copy it, or you can just remember the thingy. I remember it already, so I'm going to close it. Oh, oops. So I'm just going to write 192.0. 168.2.1 press enter it's going to bring it to this page where you want to go to is settings oh and then firewall and see to do it you go into application support as you can see here I have already, I already did it but I'm just going to show you how to do it just for the sake of showing it. So you select your computer. I don't know why there's so many on mine. 
In this case, it's, this one's mine. You're gonna click it. Sorry, it's taking a bit of time. <laughs> if you already know how to pull it forward, you can just skip this part and you're done. But just to show you. No, I'm just gonna show you here. Watch. Add a new user defined application. Well, I'm on Bell. It can vary, but it depends what kind of internet connection you have. And you can name it anything you want. I'll just name it SRC. SRC. Yes. And it's important that you choose UDP. And for your port, we're going to paste a number. We're going to paste this. Copy and paste this to the same number right here. And then for UDP, put 600 seconds. So you have to put 600 seconds here. Yeah, and then you just save. That's all you have to do. Add to list. That's it. And then when you're done, you just save it. It's really simple. So yeah, um, that was my tutorial. If you guys want to keep watching, um, oh, just say so Archon password is just for like a mod thing. I suggest you put in any password you can remember. So yeah, I'm going to make more of these videos. This is just to test it. Let's see if it works. Okay, well. It usually takes a bit of time. Yeah, right. It should be right there. You get all your statistics, your console, and you can put in, and you can put in all your, um, if you have, let's say you have mods. What you do is you put them in orange box, then Gary's mod, then add-ons. Since I just did this, you put all your add-ons in here. And for your maps, for your maps, it's also really simple. Um, hold on, I'm gonna make an example right here. New. Let's say this is a map. And rename map Niku face. Hello. Okay, so what you do is you have to go in Gary's mod and in maps. And what you have to do is you're gonna put it in here. Don't it's usually dot bsp or dot something else. And then you have to copy it. And then what you do is well, whoops, you go in your actual steam. You go in your actual steam. Uh, a common, I think. Oh shit. Oh yeah, here's mod. And then you go here, and then you go in your maps and your Steam maps, and then you paste it. This is only for maps, not for um. This is only for maps. For add-ons, you you only need to put in the SRCDS folder. So yeah, um, I hope I did a good tutorial for my first time, and um, I'm going to be making more of these, and I hope my tutorial was good. So yeah, uh, subscribe, favorite, and whatnot. So I'm done. Bye, guys.